hello you, welcome to Geekism. You join me again in Pinewood Hills and goodbye wooden coaster, but not for long, don't worry. Um, a couple of years ago, there was a, a leak in my bathroom and uh, it was only a small leak on the tap, so I got out the toolbox and had a go at uh, fixing it myself and uh, it turned into quite a big leak and we ended up having to replace the entire bath. Uh, eventually, I rang a plumber, he came out and fixed it for quite a few uh, hundreds of pounds and told me that if I'd have rang him in the first place, it would have cost about three quid for a new washer. With that in mind, please welcome to the channel <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike, N7, um, Elixir, whatever you want to call him, one half of Bro Coaster, all the way from uh, across the water. Hi, Mike. Hey, how you doing? That was a good allegory, I like that. Well, you know, I thought it would fit, because uh, so basically, uh, I, uh, I had a go at a wooden coaster, and I thought it was okay. Ah, like, it definitely was. Yeah, it was okay, it was getting there. Like I say, I'm quite new to the whole, like, giving a shit about rides. Like, I, I've always liked <laughs> rides for years, you know, I've always gone to coasters and stuff, but I'm new to, like caring about how they work and what they look like and who makes what and stuff like that you know so so i did a bit of research and i tried my best and uh, i got some really great feedback from people in comments in the last one as well saying that um yeah this is a hot mess you need to fix it and in the process of fixing it i was <laughs> chatting on one of the discord servers where a few of us uh, youtubers hang out with the cool kids and uh, i might turn <laughs> up and said um stop what you're doing i've built you a coaster so here it is <laughs> <laughs> I said I have a coaster, you can use it if you want. <laughs> yeah, so I, I looked at it and it's perfect, it's exactly what I was trying to do. Um, <laughs> just a little bit sort of more nuanced, I guess. So put it in. <laughs> so taught me, like, we'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll cut to live in a minute um, and we'll ride it. But talk me through what, like, is it based on anything or, you know? It was actually, yeah, I took a look at some uh, POVs of the coasters at Blackpool because okay. they are so old and they are so jaunty and janky <laughs> yeah oh hence the name by the way sorry i've not mentioned we are we're gonna i always let my um viewers name it so it's the name will change unfortunately but when it was sent over to me it's called the jaunty sparrow <laughs> jaunty <laughs> j-a-u-t-a-n-t-y yeah. 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 so a jaunty meaning like i don't know rickety or whatever you want to call it <laughs> um so yeah so these these things i actually wrote them a few weeks ago we went up to blackpool and they are absolute like teeth rattlers these things aren't they <laughs> Um, it's crazy. So that yeah. So, so, so it's based on on uh, on a few of those. It's sort of like a conglomerate of a few of them. A little bit, yeah. I think uh, a little bit of the Big Dipper, and also some of the some of the elements like the double ups and the double downs are just stuff from uh, classic coasters, even in America. It, mm -hmm. it was kind of an amalgam. Do you know like like stop me if I'm getting too like technical or whatever because I don't really know what like where your knowledge sits. But is there like traits of american versus british coasters from that sort of era or yeah i mean we actually still have a lot of wooden coasters um i know that great britain doesn't have a whole lot in that way um just the stuff you see at black blackpool and or am i wrong on that uh no as far as i know yeah blackpool uh blackpool has five woodies um okay and i think three five? of them are yeah, I think there's a, there's a wooden wild mouse, and it's one of only two still in the world. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy. I think it's Jake. Yeah, man. And then they have the Big Dipper, the um, the Grand uh, the Grand National, yeah, which is the Julian Woody. Then they have the 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 Nickelodeon Streak, um, yeah, which is which been rebranded. It was um, it was originally just called Roller Coaster for like. <laughs> Yeah, we're not great at naming them. Um, and then there was um, there was another little a little Woody that sits alongside that that was called the Zipper, I think, for a while. Now it's now it's called I don't know uh, Peppa Pig's I don't know Pigsty or something. It's themed, you know, it's a new, it's a kid. It's themed around kids now. Um, so yeah, so there's five there, and I, I, there's a few others. I know the Lightwater Valley, which is a really small park in the in the north of England, they have a, a, a wooden coaster called the Ultimate. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard of that. It was it, at, at time of building, it was the longest coaster in the world. It's it's been, I think, it's still longest in Europe. Um, but that yeah, I think is, I remember um, seeing a, a POV of that and being uh, like, "Whoa!" Well, I this, guess it's the longest in the world, but it's super boring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They they literally just went for the length. You know, they literally just <laughs> went for like we need to, we want to get the. The, the the um the record like so it has two lift hills two massive lift mm -hmm. hills um it was built by british rail 
the company who built our railroads. It wasn't. It's not even built by a coaster company. Um, wow. It was built by British Rail. I think the guy who who like commissioned it was like, well, you you know, that's yeah, two rows of steel. That's fine, isn't it? You can do that, can't you? It's simple enough. So it's built by British Rail. Um, it, it 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 does the first lift hill and then literally just like drops into a drop and does some bunny hills up to the second lift hill. Um, sometimes it doesn't reach the second lift hill. <laughs> so they pay a guy to sit in a tractor <laughs> at the bottom of the bunny hills and sometimes he has to tow the coaster up to the second lift hill because sometimes oh it doesn't my. reach. Um, yeah, and this thing's still running. That's That's how it goes. But what is what is the deal with um, the history of British amusement parks? Why aren't why isn't there more of a selection, or um, why are there so few? I would say. Well, I, d- I think we actually we've got quite. If you're considering our size, we actually uh-huh. we don't do too bad. I don't think. Um, okay. Like if you th- if you look at like other Europe and like obviously the states you've got all you've got like six flags and everything you've kind of filled you out haven't you but like if you look at other <laughs> European countries um, you know we've actually not doing too bad you know obviously you've got like Efteling but that's pretty much all you've got in Holland or the, uh, the Netherlands right. sorry you know what I mean like um, France you've got Disneyland Paris uh, and you've got um, what's that weird one with all the movies uh, Futuroscope. Um... Is it yeah, Futuroscope yeah, yeah. or Future World or something like that? Um, and there's not really that much else. Spain, you've got Port Ventura and like one other. So I don't know. We've got like I would I say guess we've that's got, true. I say we I mean, considering the size of us, we've got we don't do too bad, you know. You guys were the the first industrial revolution. You you guys were the the people that I mean, like when I think of turn of the century parks in America, I think of the the great exposition parks, the great pier parks, Luna Park, and stuff like that. Yeah, and I guess Blackpool is kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I think I think a lot of our ones were built were actually built as amusement parks, though. Like we had great exhibitions, mm. we had things like the the Crystal Palace exhibition, things like that. But most of them like went on and moved on to other things. Um, but I think part yeah, park wise, most of them were kind of just they, they were built as parks, and most of them. They're pretty new, really. There's, like I say, Blackpool has been going since uh, 1910s, I think, as early as that, or right. 1920s. Um, right. But most of the others, like Alton Towers, as it is now, opened in about 1970. Um, really? Like before that, it was like a stately gardens, and there was like a, a carousel and a, and a chair plane and a, you know a few bits. Um, huh. But it actually opened his doors as a theme park. It, it opened with a, with an arrow coaster. It opened with the corkscrew. Um, which is an, an, a really janky arrow looping. So um, yeah, so even like the people who think all oh, these parts have been around for for years, and obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people think you consider Britain to have like history coming out of its ass, you know. But really, theme park wise, we, yeah, we're we're still kind of catching up a lot of the time. And also, I think yeah, um, you guys have Alton, you've got Thorpe, you've got well, yeah, Drayton Alton, Manor, Thorpe, but... Drayton Manor, I guess, like Chessington, I guess you would probably put up there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and then Blackpool, they're probably like your big, your big five, you know. And then there's lots of other smaller family-owned parks, things like Lightwater Valley, Flamingo Land, um, that are usually uh, petting zoos with a couple of coasters, kind of thing, you know. And then, and then okay. like half a dozen flats and stuff. Um, I think a lot of it comes down to budget. I just, I did, we just don't think we have, they, like companies here have the budget to do what they want to do. Really, excuse me. Um, a spe- like Alton Towers was always the one. I like Alton Towers. I think the other big problem as well is they're all owned by the same company, so there's very little oh. competition. Um, so Alton Thorpe and Chessington are all owned by Merlin. Um, Interesting. So they all kind of run off each other, and um, I, I, I think that's that might be one of the big problems as well. And I think um, other parks are starting to notice that now and and trying to sort of take especially since the smiler incident a couple of years ago there was a, a quite mm-hmm. a bad crash on the smiler where a few people lost limbs and alton towers have never really recovered from that to be honest um so i think a lot of the smaller parks now are kind of thinking this is their this is their in to kind of you know to be on the up and up so you know blackpool you've got a, a putting in icon a, a double launch mac this year the icon um, looks awesome yeah that's great the, the, i like i say i went to blackpool a few weeks ago the, to see how they've squoze it in like <laughs> they've like it's ridiculous like everywhere you go in that park you can see supports going in for it 
like everywhere. It just doesn't it, that like just give you like uh, doesn't it, that it's it's gross. I, I don't know. I, I, you, have, you have to have a look on the channel. I did a vlog of Blackpool, and I said the one thing it doesn't care less about is um, like sight lines. It just it will stick something anywhere it can, like literally anywhere. Like because they're so limited on space, it is literally like maybe like four blocks. In, in, in a in a residential wow. area, they have four blocks, and the whole thing is 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 stuck in this little space. Um, I remember thinking when I was playing, I think Rollercoaster Tycoon Two, that had the Blackpool um, park. Oh in yeah, it. yeah, it's like a scenario. How in the world could this actually exist? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Every all the coasters, like the big one, for instance, the the uh, the hyper they got. It just mm -hmm. it runs around the edge of the park, like three walls of the park. It has this coaster on it. The lift hills on one wall, uh, and then the f the main the main drop and the and the first hills sit along the other side, and then it sort of uh, dog legs around the third, and then comes back. It's crazy how much they squeeze into that space, considering they have, like I say, five woodies, and then they have another three or four coasters. They have that huge water ride Valhalla. Um, yeah, it's just mm -hmm. it's crazy the amount of stuff they've got in there. But um, yeah, we we have yeah we have weird parks, and I don't think we'll ever really move on from them. Like uh, there's, mm -hmm. there's there's loads of talk about a new one opening down south that was going to be Paramount. Um, oh, this was can I just point out here what I'm doing in case you're wondering. This is um, sure their 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 oh, water their water vents because this is stealing that. Yeah, this bit's lowered down, so they need somewhere for drainage. So in case anyone was wondering what we're building. Uh, but I know we've not mentioned it, by the way. There's a, we're building a coaster station. <laughs> um, in fact, <laughs> uh, we'll cut to a live bit now and, and we'll have a look around it live. Right, so here we go. This is the station. It's obviously nowhere near done. Um, we were talking off, off camera before about this bug that's in the game at the minute um, that I, I guess turned up with one point. I guess it turned up with the spooky DLC. I guess. Patch. I mean, I feel like it's been there for a while. Yeah, I don't know. It's this weird thing where you do if you're doing any sort of like rotational building, like um, uh, if you're doing like a, like this sort of roof here, or I think what it was actually I was doing was this little top bit here that needs oh, a bit of a, no. a coloring. It was that little bit there, um, and basically the, it, it, it crashes the game. Or, or it, you were saying, Mike, that it just like freezes up really bad for you, but then fig sorts itself out. No, no, it doesn't sort itself out. It freezes to death. It's, oh, right. So you, done. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the same here, then. Yeah, it freezes. I know some people just say that it just hangs for like 30 seconds and then catches up. Um, but for me, yeah, it's it just completely dies. So a lot more of this was done. Um, this was originally this. I'd done a second cattle pen here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, well, actually, a first cattle pen. So it was going to come through a cattle pen here and then up to this area. Um, but then when I, I'd finished it I'd, and I I'd decorated it with like some wooden trellis and then I, I came down to here and I was like, oh, it just, they wouldn't cover the station up like that, you know? Yeah, you this couldn't would see be, anything. Yeah, this would be like the building of the park when it was put up, you know what I mean? This would be, mm -hmm. this would be the thing that they would, they would be, other than the ride itself, that they would be most proud of. This would be the thing that was on postcards from the park, you know? So, yeah, uh, yeah. so I got rid of it and I, I started doing like a, like a gardens basically. There's going to be like a, like a, a garden, a fountain in front of it. Yeah, I really um, dig the the look of the station. It's very um, kind of subdued a little bit. It's not too not too much. Yeah, but so it's got obviously a I didn't I didn't want it to be themed. Like mm -hmm. I didn't want this to look like a theme. I wanted it to look just like a but like a slightly ostentatious build, you know. So mm -hmm. it's actually it's based on a gym uh, near where I work. Uh, <laughs> I'll put a, I'll put a screen up of it now. I, I was driving past the other day and I, was, and I genuinely stopped, pulled the car over and got out and took <laughs> photos of it. I couldn't believe this place. I was like, that was perfect. But like the reason I wanted to use it is because it, it kind of looks a little bit like a train station, mm -hmm. like, a, like an older train station. And I was thinking that around this time, roller coasters were still relatively new. They weren't, they weren't theming them obviously at all. Mm -hmm. Um, so this, they, they would look at a station area and they would, the, their, the natural progression would be to a train station. That would be the closest sort of, uh, the closest sort of cross point, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that they, they wouldn't really know what else to do. They're thinking, well, it's a, it's a thing that runs on rails and it comes out of a building. So we'll make the building look like a train station because. Yeah. And like you said, it's not ostentatious. So, you know, you wouldn't see the kind of boardwalk sort of, um, grandeur here yeah not here no maybe maybe later maybe in further developments but you know at the minute if you look at like the other buildings it, they're very much just sort of like wooden uh, wooden structures uh sort of substance over style 
mm-hmm. you know, but I've, so I've kind of, you know, um, bear in mind in this building here, you know, a similar sort of architecture uh, with it. Here I've gone for a bit more of a, like a seaside look, mm-hmm. uh, even though we're not at the seaside, obviously, because we don't have a seaside biome. Um, but I've gone for sort of like, you know, very light, light woods and things like that. Um, so I've kind of kept that going over here, but with a, but with a different color scheme with like a more of a yellow, um, which is, which is based on the, on the original design. So, so that's where I'm going with it. Obviously there's still a lot more to do. Uh, this area here is, is left for the signage once we name it. Uh, and then the plan very is cool. to have, uh, this come out in, into a, uh, ride photos area that will have been added at a later date. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then this area here is going to be a big midway section, um, using some of Rubles midways and some of the stuff we've been building in live streams. Sweet. So that's where I'm going. I'm not 100% sure with the queue. Do you feel like it's enough queue? Do you feel like they would have, would they have had cattle pen queuing at this sort of era? Um, well, I think originally the coaster would have just had like a platform that you get up to it because this would have been a pay for attraction. So yeah. it, you wouldn't have a lot of people going to it. There would be other things for them to do. And yeah, if they see, wanted to pay to go on the coaster, then they could do that. They could. Yeah. See, that's one thing I've noticed, especially with um, with this thing in the chair plane. Like, I can't find what a queue for this looks like because they just don't have them. They, right. They're, they're surrounded in a fence. The gate opens. People pile onto it. They pay their, you know, they give the the guy walks around the seats and gets the couple of pound off them, mm-hmm. uh, you know. And so like, I, I'm really struggling how to like I've just thrown the queue around it here, ready to decorate later. But I'm really struggling how to do queues for a, a lot of these flats. To be fair, because like you say, a lot of them they would just be, if you wanted to go on it, you would walk on it. Like the 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 throughput was, you know, enough right. that the people could just the, the, they didn't really have queues. So the uh, idea yeah, of a line was, is is something in. Um, ticket ticketed parks where you actually yeah. are spending the whole day this would just be hey i just got off work hey let's go to pinewood hills and um have you know have some fun uh, yeah go and get a get a hot dog and uh, ride one or two rides mm-hmm. so it is going to be a ticketed park uh eventually but um yeah I, the, this first phase this sort of uh like original opening in the 1940s sort of era uh, yeah, mm-hmm. it would have been just a you can wander through the door and just have a look around if you want or or go on stuff. So so in that in that case, do you think the queue should be sort of designed as if it's been retrofitted and like added in later? I would say yeah, I think you should still have like the the same ramp and then just retrofit the queue to kind of cattle pin wherever you've got the room to do so. Yeah. That's probably right. And they'd probably okay, cool. build like a kind of a janky shed um just to or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how um, British parks look, but in America, uh, we typically have some sort of covering or a shed. Yeah, I've sheds or like or trellising. I think the, the the big difference with like um, with American parks is you would have you've got to keep people out of the sun. Yeah. So you have trellising and misters and stuff, whereas mm-hmm. here you have to keep people out of the rain. So <laughs> um, <laughs> you do, uh, it's more like decent coverage. But then, yeah, thinking about it, most mo- like I'm just going back to Walton's house. I was I was literally there like three days ago. Um, pretty much all the queue is is exterior and just open to the elements. Interesting. Um, all right. But Alton Towers is really well forested too, so you've got yeah. So yeah, I guess you get some like yeah tree tree coverage, I guess yeah. And mm. there's a, yeah a bit of the smilers indoors, um, but yeah. Apart from that, it's all pretty much open. I'm just trying to think what sort of queuing I've I've seen. Like I say, a lot of these smaller parks they don't really have the queues. You just kind of wander onto the rides, you know. Um, yeah, whenever whenever I get like stuck in this kind of uh, mindset, I try and look back at like what the park would have done budget wise. So I think that oh, definitely they would have kept a simple ramp, and then they would have just concreted something, um, put some poles down, and said, "Here, this is the line." Yeah, poles and ropes, basically. Yeah. Yep. And okay, maybe they yeah. they could have some faded tarps or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> okay, cool. But you think maybe like the idea of having a garden at the front that's yeah, I think still that'd relatively be really maintained nice would be good. Yeah. Because like I say, this would have been like the pride and joy when this thing opens, you know? And um, at this point in time it would be a historical attraction, right? This would have had historic status. Oh yeah, I guess so, yeah. Like I say, most the uh most of the wooden coasters at Blackpool now have uh what we call grade two listed, so mm-hmm. yeah, they they they're there for good basically. Like even if they even if they stop running, like they'll have to leave the structure there. Um, oh, that's wow! That's interesting. Yeah. So, like, um, 
yeah, it's it, it's there as a as a as a building that can't be edited. Perfect. I think grade grade two <laughs> means you can do repairs on it, but you've got to kind of use the original materials and stuff, you know. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, if, so if ever they come in and say, yeah, this ain't working as a roller coaster anymore, the the the, the wood still standing there. Interesting. So you have to keep it, and it's incentive to keep it running so that you can have it as a interesting. Yeah. So it's still useful. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So that's why I think that's why I think Blackpool has them still because a lot of other places have had wooden coasters, um, but mm. then been you know torn down or whatever. Uh, but yeah, for some reason Blackpool has uh, has got a lot of um, yeah a lot of like historical sort of um, stages things like the the uh, the roller coaster um, that's called um, the Nickelodeon Streak now uh, mm -hmm. that was originally called Roller Coaster. It, the lift hill of that is from the Velvet Coaster, which is as from what I can tell is something like the first ever roller coaster or something ridiculous I, or like the first one in europe or i don't know the velvet coaster i don't know it's got it's got like massive significance interesting um, but yeah they managed to keep some bits of it or something but yeah it's all pretty crazy so that's kind of what i wanted to go for here like with the idea of the of the plaque on the on the on the ride here yeah um you like obviously like the coast you know we'll do a few of those around mm -hmm. and kind of keep these as like uh yeah like his, historic pieces as well before we sort of go over to a new path area and, you know, cover everything in neon and 80s and plastic <laughs> and concrete. You know, that's the idea. This first bit's going to be really pretty, and then it's just going to be all about sticking in as many flat rides as possible and, you know, cotton candy and, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, you got to almost think of, like, how does this park make money? Um, yeah. How did they, like, what was their thought process in the 80s when they did those additions? Who were mm -hmm. they trying to pull? Um that's kind of like low level critical thinking and you can pretty much design your way out of any trouble yeah that way and kind of and make it make make things that like uh, it's not a it's not a problem it's a feature you know mm -hmm. like, <laughs> you can usually uh, figure your way around stuff but yeah there we go so we could uh, we should uh, we'd ride the coaster a couple of things i wanted to ask about the coaster so um the i this here the, this like it turns on a hill yeah Right, that is a, a slightly later feature, I think. A little um, bit, yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit more modern, I think. So, Although, I mean, the original Traver coasters that were um, like Cyclone, uh, the ones that actually killed people in the <laughs> early yeah. 1900s, um, those did some some pretty crazy things. And I tried to keep the the turn very flat so that they really didn't have to. They don't have to engineer that too much. They were just yeah. basically moving the bends. Yeah, because that's then... that's the thing I was thinking. A lot of like like things like banking and stuff surely only really came on when we started to have like CAD uh, and stuff that you could where you could really sort of work out G's and stuff. A little you know? bit, yeah. I mean, what mm. they would do is they would bank so that it didn't like kill people. <laughs> yeah, like enough that people didn't pass out every time. Right. Yeah. Um. I, like yeah. Like pre pre drops as well. That that's a that's a thing. It like could I, have been. Uh, this was more a planet coaster thing because it gets stuck otherwise. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> so that's more of a necessity as opposed to a design. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, and then cool. I think actually helixes weren't necessarily um, all that. That was going to be either. my next question. Yeah, helixes. That's again a bit more a modern one. So, what the point? Like, I love the coaster, and I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. But I can like wrap the theming a little bit around this. That mm -hmm. this is a this this would have been a bit of a big deal. This coaster. Yeah. You know? When, when this came out, um, it's pretty big. It's pretty long. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I say, helixes and uh, you know double downs and stuff. This is this would have been like pretty uh, like top of the range sort of thing when it when it came in. Yeah. Yeah. This is a big. This is a big out and back for yeah. for the time period. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think last thing we should do then is probably ride the thing. Woo. Um. Oh yeah, so we've got two coasters. People, a lot of people are saying you should you should really try and get two uh, two trains on it, but a, a mid brake run just wouldn't have been a thing, would it? In, right. No. In, no. No. In this, yeah. So you obviously have brakes as it comes out, which means the second coaster here. You can see it. You get a nice bit of interaction. They're they're both cruising pretty slow, but mm -hmm. you know they they pass and that's you know the you get the one guy's coming back as the next guy's going out. You know, so that's quite that's still quite neat. Um, but yeah, the the whole sort of like mid mid run. Uh, break section just wouldn't have been a, a a thing that happened on these sort of coasters. Yeah, I don't know when blocking was actually introduced because they're not. That's not a, a feature of a lot of uh, coasters up through the seventies. 
yeah, no, I, I, I tried to find out when it was um, because a few people had mentioned it and I, I can't find a date. Like I've read a few different wikis now about it and I just, I can't, I can't find a date. But yeah, like, um, uh, yeah, I can't find like any, any sort, sort of like the, the, the original sort of arrow loopings or anything like that seem to have mm-hmm. them. Um, and then I was going through my head, and even in Alton Towers, like Nemesis doesn't doesn't have a block section. That's just that's a one run, right, um, right, right. Thing. And so it, you know it, that was nice. I guess it couldn't I mean. because it would kill too much of the momentum. Yeah, perhaps so. Yeah, because it's quite it's quite a tight coaster. So maybe that was more of a more of a size thing. But um, yeah, I don't think they're as I think they're a bit more of a modern thing blocking than uh, a lot of people think. And obviously, it would be it would be great to have, you know, to you know, coasts passing like here somewhere, you know. Yeah, it would be. You know, one coming down, it would be, it would be great. But um, it just, yeah, it just if you if we're trying to keep it like, I'm no expert, so I'm going to get things wrong. But I want to try and keep it as realistic as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, so things like that just they just wouldn't be a thing. And if the park, um, if the park has not actually designed new trains for this yet, that means they are still running on the same historic trains. So they're probably only going to be running one train theoretically. Yeah. yeah. Because um, they have just to, more they have of a to safety keep those thing. parts for as long as possible. Exactly, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think you, I think that's probably right. Oh, the, the that's thing I want to say about was like transfer tracks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, from what I can tell, they were a thing. Um, okay. In early coasters, like uh, the ones I noticed at Babel, like Big Dipper and stuff, they have them. Um, they often like run under the station. Um, oh, interesting. Which is which is quite neat. Uh, I think I'm going to struggle to get that in here. I think. Um, but, you know, it's maybe something I can look at in the future. Um, Most of the yeah, ones that re- I've seen, like the historic rides, especially in America, they had yeah. covered brake runs, and then they just stored the trains in the covered brake run. And it would just stay there, right? Okay, so that's right. probably what I'll do here, uh, because of how the layout works. Like, the only thing, the only way you could really do it here, I think, is to have a like a second building to the to the right, mm-hmm. uh, as we're looking at it now. You know. But um, but it runs great. It runs as, as smooth as it needs to. I mean, obviously, you know, it, it, it it's meant to be a bit janky and stuff, isn't it? So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, I um, actually found that if you if you take nodes and you just pop them out, I didn't do it for this coaster, but if you just take them and pop them out a little bit, you can actually create that jitter. When oh, you really? Well, literally, just like drag them, yeah, drag them out a little, yeah. just a little bit though. Yeah, you're just talking yeah. about it, so it doesn't actually distort the shaping, but you can see all the the jitters and the in the curves and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you can actually you can actually feel them feel them wobble. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Cool. cool. Well, thanks so much for uh for doing that. The the jaunty sparrow, like I say, <laughs> name suggestions in the comments. Um, <laughs> um, no problem. I I, I, but, uh, I like building these old style woodies and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Yeah, I think it's turned out perfectly and it like I say it fits really nicely. Um, originally, I uh, we were saying this off camera, originally I had the I had the coaster sort of coming down here, sort of wrapping around the edge of what will be the car park. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think this actually, like we were talking about where we're sort of going next, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I think this sort of lends itself now to sort of, you know, bringing up our next section here. And then I was saying that maybe we'll, we'll end up with like a, like a lake area around the back of it as well. Um, yeah, in the context of a historic park, this actually might work better in like your uh, your initial um, area that you owned, and maybe you bought new yeah. land, and that's where your expansion is. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Well, like the other thing I mentioned a few times is the idea of having like a stately home over here that mm-hmm. was the owner of the land, and they would have probably said, "Well, you can have the bottom fields." And then mm. over the years, it's got closer and closer to the home, which is kind of yeah. what happened with Alton Towers. Um, whereas to the point where there's a ride in the stately home now, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know. But originally, they, they you kept a bit of distance, and they've slowly sort of like creeped further and further in. So, I think that's kind of uh, the idea I'll go for there. Um, but the other thing I was going to say is that once uh, the, the original plan with this park always was once this original sort of forties area is done, then I'm going to be opening it up to uh, to collaborations. So if you fancy coming in and building something a bit more modern in the future, oh cool, that would be um, that would be awesome as well. But thanks so much for coming on. Where can people find you? Where's the best place to uh, to come and see your stuff? Uh, you can find us uh, the our YouTube uh, well not our YouTube channel but my YouTube channel Mike Sheets um, and Mass Bandits uh, channel on YouTube we do we switch off bro coaster episodes um, you can find me on Discord uh, I don't remember what my handle is there <laughs> I'm so prepared 
but you'll be around. <laughs> you'll, find yeah, them, you'll find them. You? You'll find them. <laughs> but um, yeah, just I've, I've mentioned it on the channel loads. Bro Coaster. If you're not watching it already, you need to be. It's a fantastic series. Personally, like my favourite uh, Planet Coaster series that there's been. Um, oh, it's thanks. it's similar to the, like I don't really want to compare myself, but it's similar to this in the point where they're they you know you you spend a lot of time thinking about budget, about space, about era. Um, mm -hmm. You know about all this kind of stuff. Uh, you know throughput. It's not just building crazy stuff that looks amazing. You know, you know. Sometimes you build stuff that looks shite because it's meant to look shite. You know. Um, oh, we have this week. <laughs> oh, cool! I can't wait. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah you know, um, it's, all, it's all about realism, uh, and, and it's it's definitely the, one of the main influences uh, for me building in Pinewood. I, like I said, I've spoke to you about this off off camera, haven't I? You know, the, mm -hmm. you know, I started off building the crazy pirate area, the the crazy wild west area and all this and you know i'm finding so much more joy building these smaller things that are using parts a lot more for what they're not meant to be used for you know to mm -hmm. try and cut like um almost like uh almost like i'm like solving problems that i'm making for myself you know exactly i mean yeah. planet coaster only goes so far if you use the the program exactly as it was intended yeah. um the way that we do it and we create kind of this bigger uh, problem for ourselves to to solve it makes it more exciting it ends yeah. up just being a tool chest at this point yeah definitely it's, yeah it's but it's a big it's a box of lego isn't it you know mm -hmm. it's, yeah basically you're just using it as a um, as a way to, uh, to accomplish a goal but yeah bro coast if you're not watching it already you need to go over and watch it it's a, a fantastic series they're building a american um so what, what would what park would you say it's most similar to something like uh like dollywood or it's definitely not Dollywood because Dollywood is a little tighter and more themed. Um, I would say, right. oh boy, uh, we we our original inspiration was Holiday World, but we've right. even uh, gone away from that too. Um, we've included parts of probably Six Flags, uh, Great America, um, parts of um, uh, California's Great America, I think CGA, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and also parts of Holiday World, especially the area that we're working in now, which is mm -hmm. depressing. It's amazingly <laughs> depressing. I love it. Is it like the the last few like it's, straggles of cash just to fill the space type thing? So, <laughs> so we have a, a train line that basically separates the the core park from all the expansion, and the expansion is where we've basically got concrete pads and some uh, afterthought kind of rides this is yeah, the area like where we needed to down bolster stuff, yeah. yeah bolster our attraction count and uh yeah did not have the room to do so in the main park awesome i can't wait to see you um, <laughs> mike thank you so much for coming on it's an absolute pleasure honestly you're just such a big inspiration to me so glad that you've come in and built something for pinewood um i hope everyone uh, i'll put links in the description to your stuff i hope everyone comes over and uh, and sees you over there as well uh thanks so much for uh, for joining us Thank you so much for having me, and and the coaster looks awesome. I love the way it just kind of nestles into that pine wood sign. Yeah, it's looking good. Awesome. Right, thank you folks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy like chatting, you can find me on Twitter. Yeah, coaster names. Yeah, please, we need a coaster name. So uh, <laughs> let us know. As much as I love the Jaunty Sparrow, I've got, that, like, that name's getting everywhere. I've got, um, I don't know if, you, if you've seen on Jubilee Gardens, I have a pub. Uh, I have a yeah. pub in Jubilee Gardens called the Jaunty Sparrow, which is fantastic. Yeah, and I um, just saw the video of jo uh, Sparrow Park or... Um... What Sparrow Sparrow Falls? Oh yeah, Sparrow the guys Falls, are, yeah. yeah the the, the community's building. It's 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 stunning. Like I, I I did that first that first episode was the first time I went into it, mm -hmm. um, and the amount of stuff I am robbing from that. <laughs> like, it's I ridiculous. know uh, the the first thing like the park maps was amazing, and then the yeah. ride side uh, or the ride time sign, and then yeah. we go you go into that building. And I was like, oh. Brocoaster's got nothing on these people. They've got it a was like, yeah, security the, office. The cray, the crash. <laughs> like the kids, um, the kids, um, you say crash or crash in the states. I have like no they, idea what what word you're saying right now. Like, um, like a little play <laughs> area for kids. Oh, 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 yeah. Like the the child got lost and they're yeah, just yeah, kind of the in a holding lost. pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. It, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, we we call it a crash. Um, <laughs> 
I think it's French. Maybe it hasn't quite got across the water yet. You'll all be saying Poss- it next year. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly not. But I also really like there was a break room too. It's just there's so much thought in that already. Yeah, that, it's just crazy. Like I can't I can't wait to see um, see where it ends up. I mean whether whether or not that level of detail stays up because obviously it's going to get passed around people. I but, mean um, it won't. Park count will will get the better of people a hundred percent yeah i've already gone like like even even here i was like oh yeah look custom roofs custom roof bits bits of custom roof more custom roof yeah no no custom roofs no there, more yeah. custom no, roofs, no yeah. custom <laughs> roofs. that's it now no more like this little bit of custom roof there just this yeah. little bit <laughs> that's, that's yeah. all you're getting <laughs> awesome. we, ended up right, doing like a, we ended up doing a round pavilion and it ended up being 2500 pieces like yeah nope, I, saw, nope, I, nope. Saw, <laughs> I saw i saw i saw i saw you put it down i was like oh it looks really nice like a curved roof yeah 2000 pieces yeah no, <laughs> no, 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 no chance <laughs> awesome right cheers mike thanks all for watching uh, i'll see you in the next one thanks